Dan Deacon, and I composed the score for Ratfilm. And I'm Theo Anthony, and I'm the director of Ratfilm. Scoring this film was completely different than uh, other projects I've done in the past. In the beginning, I tried scoring the picture, and I was just frustrated. It didn't seem like that kind of project, and I'm really glad that I didn't like force myself to try to have a more traditional approach to it. He would do something, and we'd, I'd switch the edit, and then he'd change the score, and then I'd change the edit based on that. It was a very fluid dialogue, and I feel like that really inspired me more to just be like, well, let's just go all in on this. And nothing was precious. And I just remember you saying, like, can you make music with rats? Dan and I conceived of this performance involving rats and rats generating all of these audio-visual triggers. It was this custom fiberglass table that we had made that was an enclosure, and the rats would run around it. At each corner of the table were three theremins. Each of the corners would control, as a rat moved from one to the other, it would change both the pitch and the volume. And they were all tuned to be in harmony at certain stations. So if a rat was in one corner, it'd be harmonious with the other two. But as they moved, you'd get a great deal of dissonance. We had a friend of ours, Alan, sit in and experience the rat POV with the sound that the rats were actually making in real time. It was definitely like, in the truest sense, an experiment. Since I was converting the pitch to MIDI, it also turned into this very malleable data that we could apply to anything. A lot of my work focuses on player piano. It's an acoustic instrument that is controlled electronically, and it doesn't give you the results of an acoustic instrument or an electronic instrument. It gives you mechanical results. The rats running around inside of the enclosure created a great deal of content that I would then tune and manipulate, stretch or condense human and inhuman simultaneously, because it has the limitations of a physical instrument, but is being controlled by the infinite possibilities of a computer. So much of the footage is these beautiful organic shots paired with these horrific computer images of Baltimore from Google. It was fun to think about that in the timbre of the sound choices we would use. This range of like sparse piano music to very heavy pulse-driven electronic music. That was really important to keep the collaborators to Baltimore people, and I think that it's not just about supporting the community, that's obviously really great, but those people who live in the community, I think, have a more honest experience and have a lot more to say about anything that's coming out of there. I was really inspired by how Theo treated Baltimore, clearly equally loves the city, and wanted to make sure that it wasn't exploitive in any capacity, and if anything, would bring a greater appreciation of both the people in the city and the city itself to people outside of it.